Guys and girls, welcome back to the green light. Now I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I logged in to New World last night, ready to just grind it out to level 60. I'm level 40 now and I was ready to grind it out to 60. And then I went to the town board because whenever I log in game, I like to go grab every quest I can before I go out. And then I went to the trading post and I remembered that it was disabled. You know, I couldn't grind my town boards efficiently because it was disabled. And guys, I logged out of the game, logged out of the game because uh i just feel like well damn uh it's it's gonna be a big waste of time and then after that i found out they were gonna have downtime anyway to uh bring everything back up bring the trading post back up in all forms of wealth transfer and i i, I didn't feel that bad about logging out now guys I, I've, I've read through this patch and uh, my cock got pretty hard when I read some of this patch, guys. And, and it's making me very excited about jumping back in New World and uh, grinding to my level 60. So uh, we're going to touch on some of these things here. And I'm not going to go through the entire patch, guys, because I don't think you guys really uh, <laughs> are too receptive to my patch videos. So uh, I'm just going to go over the main highlights um, that you guys would probably care about. And... Uh, you know we'll, we'll see how this goes so here we go guys i don't know about you guys but the coin sellers were hella annoying every time i saw a coin seller in the chat in any chat i would uh automatically block them and report them because i know that it's i, I just hate gold sellers in any game i hate seeing the text it's just it's it's not immersive at all and usually i go to area chat anyway but especially if i see it on area chat, it's just like jesus christ you know uh, so this is what they've done with coin sellers. They say, we know many of you have seen the pesky chat messages from players spamming messages and we're continuing to investigate solutions to this issue. We discovered that many coin sellers were creating new characters and transferring money to other accounts. To combat this, we've banned and suspended many of the reported accounts. Thank you for your reports for players spamming chat. Thank you for thanking me for reports because <laughs> I was thinking that I was getting nowhere with this, you know, and uh, and, and thank you guys for for all, all you guys that were uh, reporting those gold sellers. Thank you guys, you know, for me personally. Thank you. Added restrictions to prevent player to player trading and currency transfer from characters under level 10 or whose account is less than 72 hours old. Logging in after your account is 72 hours old will enable your ability to trade and transfer currency once you've hit level 10. I think this is pretty big because whenever I would go and report these coin sellers, they would be like level two, level one, level two, level three. And I'm like, how the hell are they? Uh, how, how are they like, like what the hell is going on? You know? And um, so this is this is huge, guys. This this really is going to kind of change the landscape of the game getting a lot of these assholes out of the game you know so they've redistributed coin value from some early quests to later in the main story quest line keeping the total amounts of coin earned the same just delivered in quests slightly later that's good too you know any gold that you can get out of the pockets of these these leeches is great to me Trading post uses will be restricted until new characters accept the introduction to trading post quest in their first settlement. Great change. And, and I love that these changes are all stacking on each other, right? So all the dupers, all these other guys that are trying to do this, this and that with new accounts, all the ones that have already gotten banned and they have done the ban hammer guys on a lot of these people. So all of these guys that uh, are going to try to get new accounts and try to do all their BS again they're going to be hindered significantly by these compounding changes that the new world devs have implemented and I, I think it's great we will monitor the impact that this has on bots in the health of the game and continue to adjust as necessary so that's all you can do um in this in this case so uh we just have to wait and see how it actually works out guys so so far it sounds great so exploits fix the bug where players were able to duplicate items via storage sheds and crafting stations this really knocked the wind out of my cells personally guys because I, I don't have much time to play the game you know and the time that i do put into this game the time that i allocate to this game you know i'm, I'm playing an honest game and uh it, it really knocks the wind out of my cells when i know that there are people out there that are getting things instantly you know it just rubbed me the wrong way that's it guys it rubbed me the wrong way and uh, it, it made me not want to log in and so i'm glad that they have actually hopefully fix this you know obviously 
there might be other bugs that may arise but the fact that they keep going at it time and time again and they're not getting discouraged by these new bugs that pop up these new exploits that pop up they're tackling the situations this is very good for us guys and i'm very happy that they're being steadfast in their approach to uh, solving these issues it's a really good response from them even if new bugs and new exploits arise as long as they keep tackling it you know things don't last forever right uh, they also fix an issue of gold duplicating on territory projects we introduced by disabling trading and made sure it would not occur in the future should we disable trading again so whenever they disable trading there was some gold duplication uh exploit on on the projects like they said who knows if they will ever need to disable trading again you never know what might arise but there you go guys now combat life staff orb of protection removed the small area of effects that were triggering on pass through from every hit of the base version of orb of protection aoe no longer triggers on pass through from the ages upgrade it will only trigger on impact against an enemy object now so i think this is actually a nerf to the life staff guys and um it's it's really sad actually because i i actually really love orb of protection and if we're not getting the aoe on the pass through that just means that orb of protection is probably not as useful as it was because if you could line up your teammates you could hit orb of protection through every single one of your teammates and they all got fortified they all got the uh, recovery but now it seems like the only way you can get orb of protection on all of your teammates at one time is if they're within three meters of the enemy or object that you hit and if that's the case there are going to be a, tons of times where all of your teammates aren't going to be able to get that fortify or that recovery because not everyone's always going to be within three meters of that enemy or object so if this is true uh i'm probably going to be switching to lamani's build with lights embrace instead of orb of protection because it just makes more sense at this point it already kind of did make more sense but i mainly like orb of protection for solo play anyway like uh, to get off a little more damage than you would without it but i am going to be getting into more team play more outpost rush and stuff like that and i think that um, lights embrace is probably going to be uh, a lot more beneficial than orb of protection in those situations anyway so and with this nerf what seems like a nerf it, it, it's just pushing me further towards that so yeah guys I, I feel like this is definitely a nerf to the life staff reduce attribute respect coin cost by 60 percent this is huge guys reduce attribute respect coin cost by 60 percent um that's huge guys that means we have more variability i mean since we don't have alts it's very nice to be able to just respec and change whatever you want and just play another build, you know, because you're not going to re-level something else to, to something else. If you want to play something, if you want to play a different build, uh, respec, and there you go, 60%. That's huge, guys. Huge. Reduce weapon mastery aspect Azoth by 75%. That is huge. Guys, this is, this is absolutely huge it gives us just way more flexibility at this point i i love them for doing this this is a huge change that can't be <laughs> i i mean i don't know how you can exploit this i don't know what bugs can arise from this here this is a huge change and i think it's it's very much needed because while we're spending as off on all these other things this is just great this is just great a great quality of life change that enables us to feel less restricted by the build that we have or things of the like Reduce coin cost of chisels by 20% to 50% depending on tier. And I believe this is also huge because the chisels were used for, uh, I believe, tuning orbs. So uh, this means that tuning orbs are going to be a little bit cheaper to make. And I, I believe that's what that means. I don't really use chisels like that. But you guys that use chisels, you know what this means. Uh, to encourage competition in Outpost Rush, we slightly reduced the coin and Azoth rewards for the losing team. So that's pretty cool. I haven't gotten to Outpost Rush yet, but I'm sure that this is a great change as well. We have surfaced the war conflict progress bars on the map and the faction board when there's an upcoming invasion, as you can still gain war conflict for your faction. So pretty much if there's an invasion coming up, you'll be able to see uh, the war conflict progress bar 
whereas in the past you couldn't and it just looked like there's going to be an evasion so i think that's a pretty nice little change to have there identical weapon equipping so players can no longer equip the same weapon type in both weapon slots we want each weapon slot to have a different weapon type to open up combat diversity this change also addresses issues which could occur when swapping between weapons of the same type so we did see a little bug where you can equip two life stats and switch between them and auto attack rapidly so this is no longer an issue and that's this is great this is great guys this 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 is what makes the cock hard right this is what makes me want to log in when they're fixing things like that and hopefully other things don't arise from this like we said uh but the fact that they are hammering away at these things uh despite the things blowing back up in their faces when they do fix things i love the optimism i love the determination group scaling passives fix an issue which could cause passive effects that scaled on the number of nearby foes such as bloodlust great axe against all odds hatchet and outnumbered warhammer to apply incorrectly so uh this means that there's no more huge weapon damage from the great axe and the hatchet or the warhammer this is huge guys um you know this was a big exploit uh, spell strike consistency fix issues which cause several magic spells such as ice storm and gravity well to not hit consistently this was a huge issue a uh, resilient item perk fix an issue that caused this perk to reduce all damage instead of just damage from critical hits uh, pvp flagging fix an issue that allowed pvp and pve players to heal each other so outpost rush fix an issue that was allowing players to get out of the starting fort before the match starts that's pretty huge. We now prevent multiple players from interacting with the altar and outpost risk. This will prevent players from getting multiple summon tokens per 500 Azov. Fix an issue that sometimes caused the nameplates of summon allies to appear hostile. Fix an issue that was causing battle bread, which is the food buff in outpost rush to be twice as effective as intended. Updated the tooltip for battle bread and monster slayers stew to properly describe the buffs they provide. Fix an issue that could cause players to become stuck in a teleport loop if they teleported out of Outpost Rush while using Unstuck. Alright guys, so these general bug fixes, nothing really all that special uh, with these general bug fixes. So I'm not going to go through each and every one. I will link all these in the description below so you guys could go check them out. So some of the main bugs that have been fixed that you probably have experienced is some people have lost their house while offline or during maintenance they said they fixed that they've improved server performance when a large number of players congregate in settlements and i've seen that obviously in like places like windsward or in uh places like everfall a lot of players are in there and i see like crazy lag sometimes so it looks like they've fixed that and they've also fixed an issue preventing gear score to increase past 589 from drop rewards so uh guys that those are pretty much the main fixes that we see here in this patch these are pretty huge fixes hoping that uh no other bugs or exploits arise from this so far i think we are kind of in the clear i haven't seen anything crazy come up um i've seen some people trying to push <laughs> trying to push the narrative that some other things have come up but so far so good guys i feel like i have the motivation to log in and continue to grind this game and finally get to 60 and finally experience outpost rush and wars and all that stuff so i'm very excited to uh to dive into that guys hope you guys are as well hope you guys haven't lost your passion for this game um throughout all this mess and um hope to see you guys in the game if server transfers are back up and you guys want to play with me or want to play against me uh, you can join me in my server it is celadon on us east hope you guys continue to have a blast with this game i definitely will be i will be dipping into some lost art as well with this closed beta but i will be continuing my new world journey as well hit the like hit the subscribe if you enjoyed the video keep those green lights on guys and i'll catch you on the next one peace